afternoon, we're learning more about an alleged attack on a hospital nurse. Knoxville police are looking for the suspect who they say poured kerosene on the nurse. This all happening a little before 730 last night on Clinch Avenue. The victim telling police she was approached in the parking lot outside Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center. New here at 4 WAT, 6 on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel joining us live from KPD headquarters. Speaking to investigators just a few moments ago, Elizabeth, what can you tell us? Yeah, that's right, Bo. Our interview with KPD wrapped up really just minutes ago, and it was made very clear that the department is continuing to focus on this case today, conducting interviews today, analyzing evidence that was collected from the scene today, and also still trying to track down the person that they believe may be responsible for that attack on that Fort Sanders nurse. And one thing that officers really stress today is that Fort Sanders is a very safe community, a very safe area. So when you have something like this happen, no matter where it occurs, really, it is concerning. And they're also trying to get this message across to the public. If anyone uh, was in the area yesterday or, or today, if they see someone that's acting suspicious that uh, matches this description, uh, just give us a call. Call 911, uh, provide the location, provide the information that you saw. You can remain anonymous and uh, let us check it out. Now that description to go over it again, uh, police are saying is a man five feet, nine inches tall, wearing a white hoodie or jacket and black pants. And it's also worth noting today that officers say that they've gotten some questions asking if this suspect could be connected to the attack on police officer BK Harden back in November. But they're telling us that right now, other than location, gender and race of the suspect, that there is no additional evidence to suggest that those two were connected. For now, we're live at KPD headquarters. Elizabeth Kubel, WATE, six on your side. Elizabeth, thank you so much. And we also want to let you guys know we reached out to a Fort Sanders spokesperson for an interview or a comment. Yeah, you know, and they told us since the investigation is still going on right now, they are directing all questions to KPD. We'll keep you updated. Yeah.